What is going on? Gearing up. It is hot today. Very quiet. I am having a blast with my new motorcycle. Doing a camera test here. You guys should have seen the reveal already. Uh, doing some filming for extra content. Right now I am on a scouting mission. Uh, I was looking for a way up here into the state forest with my truck. Oh shit, neutral. I was looking for a way into the state forest with my truck so I can put uh, this bike and my grandson's JR50 into the truck and get them up here so we can ride together. I started my new job the other day. If I already covered this in a new, in another video, I apologize. Uh, my life is just about getting back to normal after all the extra hours and all the craziness. Skid to a stop. So, as you can see, I got 117 miles on the new bike. So I have been out a couple times. Uh, just having a blast with it. But yeah, I, stupid me, I keep, you know, changing subjects here. I apologize. I'm just so excited when I get out here and, you know, this is what I grew up doing. You know, riding dirt bikes through you know not quite dirt roads but riding through the woods and stuff it's just uh, it gets me all warm and fuzzy to keep it PG so yeah I've been having so much fun over the last week of course, I had to wait almost two weeks to register the bike because of the whole COVID pandemic. It's just COVID's like turning the world upside down. But uh, yes, so my job, I started my new job. Um, that's what this everything's been building up to. The company that I was doing part-time for I was to help them with a new project uh, and our company kind of merged with theirs so I became an employee of theirs and I will be um, doing the same thing I was doing just for the new company and my old job he's gonna be like a customer so that's kind of cool I still get to work with my old boss just he's not gonna be my boss uh, kind of excited because there's a lot of other things that uh, Boyd Tech does that it's got me kind of excited there's a whole whole bunch of new uh, things to learn new machines uh, new projects that I can't get into but um, yeah I'm really excited but yeah so my my new schedule is uh, four 10-hour days barring overtime so I now get uh, Friday Saturday and Sunday off which will give me three days barring weather stupid rain it's been like thunder scattered thunderstorms here for a week it's been insane. I got my bike registered on Thursday of last week. I rode it Thursday, Friday, 
Friday I fell over in a river. Stupid me for not having the GoPro. But uh, yeah, I got soaked. So I fell over in the river and fun stuff, you know, exploring and God. It's been like thunderstorms every day since. Like we've had small little patches like last Saturday and Sunday there was small patches of sunshine but not really long enough for me to go out and not get you know electrocuted so fun fun and then um, I did uh, you know I worked this week so right now today is Thursday it is my first day off around the it's July 2nd so I, I'm not sure when this is gonna come out but yes today is July 2nd it's my it's a four-day weekend so I worked one day July 1st and get four days off that is freaking awesome I am getting paid for today so that is awesome as well Nothing like starting a new job and then getting a paid day off right away. So I hope this bike is going to bring a lot more content that uh, people are going to be excited for. Uh, more exploring like this. We have a lot of state forests and I am like two miles away from the New England BDR, which is... Uh, the NEBDR, the New England Backcountry Discovery Route. Uh, I did check out a, a small portion of it. I live like five, depending on how I get up here, I live about five miles away from where I am. So I am so excited. I'm gonna be able to do some of the BDR with this bike. As you all know, if you've seen my videos before and you are, uh, one of my subscribers, I have a BMW F750 GS. It is a road version, road tires. I bought it so me and the wife can do some trips. But silly, silly COVID has kind of screwed up trip tripping here in the US anyway. Um, uh, with my job, I work with uh, medical type stuff, so I cannot take any chances um, traveling and catching it because then I'm down and out and it hurts my company. So I'm going to have to pass on that this year. The wife and I are hoping to do some like day trip stuff, but I really hope the audio comes out on this because you know, it's a lot of information here and so much fun. I am using the GoPro 4 because I have my Senna hooked up to the dirt bike helmet. Uh, I have not had time to mess around with the, the GoPro 7 and get um, the whole helmet wired. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that. I'm really thinking about getting an adventure helmet to ride with this bike because this helmet is very loud and very windy on the uh, streets when you get up to even like 35, 40 miles an hour, which kind of doing 30 on the dirt road here. But it is, it's very, this helmet is very, ooh, tarmac. This helmet is very um, vented. It's made for dirt. It's made for uh, motocross racing. It's the one I ride on my, one I use on my uh, KX. Nope. I smell weed. It's legal here. But yeah, so uh, if you haven't seen the reveal video, this is a 2020 
CRF 250L. I went with the 250. It's half the damn price of the 450. Gets 70 miles to the gallon. It is uh, so much fun. I mean, you can see I was ripping through the the dirt roads there. I've, I've taken up some trails. As I said, I fell over in the river. It has been a blast. 120 miles so far of pure unadulterated fun. It is just so much fun. Uh, sorry, honey, but I haven't had this much fun on a motorcycle in so long. I haven't been trail riding in forever. Uh, it's been years. My kids were little. So probably about 20 years since I've actually been trail riding. So, yeah, i have uh, so looking forward to bringing some BDR content. Trail riding, riding with the grandson, uh, he is going to like be ecstatic about being able to ride with his grandpa and be on YouTube. And he loves to watch grandpa on YouTube, so being able to include him in the videos is going to be awesome plus I have a Senna for him so hopefully I'll be able to capture his voice as we're riding and teaching him how to ride Ooh, a little muddy of course I'm wearing sunglasses so it's a little dark but yeah so yeah, Michael is looking forward to getting the trail riding. We're just trying to get his trail registration all squared away. And then he'll be up here with me on the 50. And then we've got him, his dad got him an 80 that uh, he's rebuilding for him. So. That'll be good. Get them all squared away on the 50. Ooh, uh oh, oh. Yeah, it'll be fun. Woohoo! This is part of the NEBDR, part of leg three. They say leg three goes through Connecticut and Massachusetts. I did a test run on the BMW and I got to uh, where the, the BDR starts. Ooh, I feel a little wetness. These are supposed to be waterproof boots, man. That sucks. I'm going to have to check that out. But um, yeah. Oh, hikers. So, yep, yep, so much fun. Yeah, this is part of the BDR. Travel down this road, uh, go past James Taylor's house, and then you go back up on October Mountain. Uh, I wanna say this is probably the where I am now is almost kind of like the middle of section three. Whew. Slickery. But before I do any serious BDR, I want to do some upgrades on the bike. I need a skid plate just so I don't catch a rock on one of my cases. I lose all my oil, break the bike. And I also want to get some uh, like bark busters. Whoa! And Oh boy, 
This stuff wasn't here last week. And I also want to... Gotta get a tank bag. I'm wearing a backpack. It sucks. It's freaking heavy carrying camera gear, wallet, keys, all that shit. Part of my French, I'll have to cut that. Um, I'll ask Cody if I can use his donkey. Ooh, this was not like this before. All the rain washed, had a lot of washouts. that weren't here last week. So. All right. Yeehaw, baby. And here we go, we're out of the woods. And I know this is gonna get way too loud. So I'm gonna end it here. Everybody have a happy 4th of July, and if you've already had your 4th of July, by the time this comes out, I hope you had a great 4th of July. I look forward to more content, hopefully posting regularly, and until next time, ride safe, ride often, and ride on too. Stay safe, everybody.